Pisces, welcome to your July 2024. I had to think a minute. Uh, monthly reading. Pisces, this is a general reading. Wow. Ten of Cups. It will not resonate with all of you. Please um, take what resonates, leave the rest. If you know, if it doesn't feel like it's working for you, then this is not your reading. And that's okay too. Uh, you can check your moon and rising signs, your Venus, to see if there's any more clarity or guidance in those readings for you. Welcome to my channel. My name is Rudy. I appreciate you all being here. And if you are new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. All right, guys, let us see what we have. We have the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Swords. I feel like you're sabotaging your own happiness. Yep, you have three swords here. You could have been hurt in the past or going through a hurt here with the Three of Swords. And I just feel like everything you, you want happiness, you want to move forward, which you will eventually do. You you want to set your sights, but you have this energy bogging you down. It's almost like some a weight tied around your ankles pulling you down. Ten of Cups is a happily ever after card, and, and maybe with this ten, the Three of Swords, a subconscious energy. Maybe you were in a relationship and it didn't work out. Maybe there was money involved. Maybe you lost some money. Maybe they took money from you. Maybe you counted on this person for money. Maybe that's all it turned into was money. You were relying on them for money or they were relying on you for money. The breakup, the hurt, the heartache, you know, what you thought was going to be the happily ever after wasn't. But I feel also that since this card is first and you have the Eight of Swords, I feel like you have a lot of guilt around the situation. I feel like you have a lot of shame around the situation. And I feel like you feel trapped and you don't feel in control. And in reality, you are not trapped and you are in control. So you have a lot of mental anguish going on inside of you. But with this above you, it's like you still have hope. And I don't mean hope for this relationship to rekindle, but hope that there is love out there. Hope the happily ever after does exist. And I just feel like you have some mental blockage, you have some mental anguish, you have some mental duckness, that's a word, that you need to work through or maybe get help for if there's a ther if you're in therapy or there's a therapist or you could talk to your friends. Because again, I feel like everything, every time you take a step forward, you're sabotaging yourself. You, you go... You know, okay, I'm going to move forward. I'm going to go. I, you know, maybe you're going to start dating again and, and you're waiting for somebody to you know, show interest or go out or do something with the three of wands as a card about casting your net and waiting for the fish, you know, waiting for something to come in. So you're, you've already made an initial move. So maybe you're on a dating site or maybe you told your friends, hey, I'm single or whatever. And, you know, then you're like, what if? What if they're this or they're that? Or, uh, what if they think I'm ugly or what if I feel like it's a lot of self uh, deprecating uh, talk that you're doing to yourself I feel and again there's no reason there's you know these people can get out of their chains they're not bound but it's a control thing maybe maybe the person you were with maybe they they were maybe narcissistic and maybe had control over you maybe it was something that you were um, Kind of used to and and don't feel like a healthy relationship you know is going to work for you or something like that you don't feel like that's the way to go devil is about temptation and about excess and about negativity and the darkness now not all darkness is bad you know we we all have darkness in us it's a part of capricorn if that's anything But it's a card of letting go of being controlled, letting go of that feeling. If you are a controlling person, letting you know go of that or letting go of you know, finally being free, freeing yourself. And I feel like every time you try to, like that person may, may call you back in and you'll go run into them or something like that. Uh, it's a weakness almost with these two cards together. Then you do have where you've pushed off. You have three of wands and you're waiting. And I feel like something 
is coming towards you or somebody is coming towards you that's going to help move you out of this energy of lack into an energy of abundance or into an energy of um, you know, a higher vibration. From lack into, into more, right? Because there's cause for celebration here with the Three of Cups. There's happiness. It's like, Pisces, you will be happy. You will be happy again. And it, it'll be toward the end of the month, maybe the first of August. But you're going to have this move. You're going to have this shift. And this devil energy could be the last straw. This could be the straw that breaks, breaks the camel's back, so to speak. It could be, you know, maybe this person comes back in or maybe you, you are weak and you go to that person or do something that you're ashamed of again. And you're like, this is it. I'm done. I'm finished for once and for all. Or something happens that is that catalyst that, that breaks that bond or breaks that tie. Whatever has you stuck and held here or felt like you are caught or trapped, you finally can break free of all that and move yourself forward. Because I feel like with you know, the, the cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, it's your energy right here at the beginning and end of the reading. So keep that in mind. You are, it's like you're giving yourself a hug, right? You're giving yourself a hug. But don't forget that. And also with the Three of Swords energy, remember that everything you've gone through, there's lessons. Everything you've gone through, there's lessons. The sky will lighten up. There will be a dawn of a new day. Things will get easier. Things will get brighter. Things will be happier. I do like the Six of Swords and the Three of Cups energy. It's beautiful. Along with the Three of Wands, it's just that devil energy and the Eight of Swords. That you need to work through a little bit here. All right, let's pull health, career, finance, and love. Yeah. Oh my. I want to see, right? Bunch of cards. And we'll be here for three hours. <laughs> All right, health, career, finance, and love. Health, career, Career, finance, flipped over, finance, and love. All right, for your health, we're showing bear strength and resourcefulness. It's a very nurturing, caring energy. It's also very, uh, again, motherly energy. Um, you could have children. You could be very protective over or over your family. You could have more than one child, uh, male, female. There's no gender specific. It's to talk about strength and resourcefulness. It also talks about, I feel like you do the things, the right things that you're supposed to do for yourself, for your health. You, um, you know what you're supposed to eat. You're, you know how you're supposed to act. You know how much sleep you're supposed to get in order to make yourself healthy. And it is, um, you know, you, you're very resourceful. So I feel like you do a lot of things natural. I feel like you are very much um, health conscious. So that's good. And I, again, I feel like you do everything that you're supposed to do. You don't wait till something gets bad before you go to the doctor or before you have it seen about. Your career is relocation and home. So again, this could be where you have a change in job. Could be this six of swords that movement energy maybe you're moving out of the town maybe you're moving away from that energy that was so encompassing of you um, but your career could afford you to relocate it could afford you to buy a home or a house of your own so that's a possibility with your career um, there's stability and structure also with that energy your finances is pregnancy and fears um, when this comes in on finances, I feel the pregnancy is abundance. So I feel like you have a fear that there won't be enough money. Now there could be, this could be an actual pregnancy. Maybe you're pregnant and you're wondering how you're going to do this. If you just had a breakup with the spouse or the partner and how are you going to make ends meet and you have a lot of financial fears. Um, 
but with a rabbit, I just feel like things can multiply really quickly um, for the good and the bad. So again, what you what you think about, you bring about. So keep thinking positive thoughts. Keep thinking, you know, how you can bring about more money and have your money grow because you're going to have that stability here with your job. Lean on your job more. Find out, ask your job what you could do more to maybe make more money. And your love. You have slowness and protection. Again, I'm not surprised with this. If you're single, um, I feel like you could have just gotten out of a relationship. You're not in any hurry. You're protecting your heart. It's got that shell on it. If you're in a relationship, I feel like you're taking it slow and you still have that protective barrier around you with the turtle. Um, you know, slow is slow is good. There's nothing wrong with slow. If you're in a relationship and somebody doesn't want to take things slow, then you're not in the right relationship, right? At all. All right. So we're going to pull one more card for you here. And this is the Kashik Truth Oracle. Or Pisces. Reach out. Yep. Reach out. You've isolated yourself and are trying to do everything on your own. It's okay to ask for help, so reach out to ask for support at this time. That's beautiful. What a beautiful card. Look at that. That's beautiful. Reach out and ask for help. Again, counselors, therapists, friends, somebody to talk to. to get out of that mental mind, uh, mind games. You have that happily ever after card. You know, again, what you think about, you bring about. So think positive thoughts. Keep the positive thoughts coming because you have that beautiful happily ever after card. Happiness, you know, is coming. You have the three of cups. You have celebration. But you just want to keep that in mind as you're going on with this month that might seem a little daunting, might seem a little bleak, might seem a little depressing, right? You will find yourself moving forward. You will find yourself maybe doubting yourself again. But I feel like whatever happens here with this devil energy, it's going to be the one that it's going to be the catalyst that breaks the bond or breaks the maybe hope of ever getting back with somebody or hopes of um, Being with that person, I feel like something's going to happen that you're going to just be, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Because you got the Six of Swords and that's moving on energy. Yes, you're taking your thoughts with you, but you're a whole lot better off from eight. You only have six that you're you're going through now. So you are going to be doing a lot of inner, inner work on yourself. And again, don't be afraid to ask for help. You've isolated yourself far too long and you need to uh, raise yourself up, raise your vibrations up and be the beautiful person. For your heart and your soul and your spirit that you know that you are you need to show that to the world okay isis thank you for watching stay safe be blessed feel free to share this with anybody this sounds like like share and subscribe give me a thumbs up if you don't want to comment i appreciate all of you all thank you so very much good luck to you bye for now